Hi, everyone, and thank you for purchasing the comparison table Shopify section by QuickCode. In this video, I'll be showing you how to actually use it. So if you haven't installed it yet, please refer to the separate video included in the package. You also have access to a PDF with instructions that you can refer to. So to get started, go to your theme editor, navigate to the page that you want to add the section to. Once you're there, click on Add Section on the left side. Search for the section that you added. In our case, it is the comparison table. You choose that one. And a default view with uh, some setting, some uh, content already appears right there. So to get started, um, the idea here is that we're separating we're creating rows. There is, there's a row for each uh, feature, let's say, that you want to add in. Um, and then in each cell, you set the, the value that you want um, to show whether it's an X or a, a number or an icon that's included. So let's just get started with adding some of the content. To add the content for the main headers, you'd go to the main, to the main global area. Um, in the top, and you have here, you scroll down, you have column one, column two, and then scrolling down, you have column three as well. You can put in an image if you'd like. Let's just put in um, an icon in there. You can change the title, which is this one that appears here, and you can also update the subtitle right there below if you'd like to. Um, which kind of explains a little bit more. But in this case, let's just remove it. Let's select another image. We'll remove the subtitle from here. And we'll select one more. There we go. And we can also, let's give, give some names, like um, this one will be Platinum, gold, and silver. These are the, the, the plans, let's say, that you want to compare plans on your site. <clears throat> um, now we'll go back to the rows, and you can add in up to... <clears throat> Start now. So we added the, the content for here. Now we can go scroll down. You can add one more column if you'd like. Um, Setting the number of columns is right up here. You can add in four and you can have up to four columns. Um, one other thing I didn't mention is you can change, of course, the title of this section over here. Um, so let's just change this to our plans. You can change the HTML element, which is good for SEO and also um, utilizing uh, already preset styling for titles of sections that you have on your theme. Um, scrolling down after this he these headers, we have a section called navigation styling. Now on mobile, on the mobile device, what happens is that since we can't fit all of this into one very thin device, we created a slideshow of each column. So when you go into a mobile, you see the column and then you have an arrow or you can drag on your phone. To, com to compare the, the plans. So this is what the navigation styling actually means. So you can change this icon of the, of the right and left arrows by uploading an image, or you can just change the colors of the one existing. So if we wanna do it reverse, so we can do the icon will be black and the background will be white. You can do that. 
Moving on down, we have section styling. Let's go back to the desktop view. Uh, you can change the background of of this section. Soon I'll show you. You can play. You can also update the the borders and things like that to make give a cleaner effect. Um, you could adjust the width of the entire section within the page, like so. Um, Border width is the width of these borders inside. So if you want to have it a little bit thinner or much more space, and you can see to get an effect that there's no border at all, you would just apply the same color of the background and you get something nice and clean like that. Well, alternatively, you can just make that and get rid of a background if, you, if you'd like to do that, and then you just have the borders or no borders at all, you can do that as well. Let's just go back to this, it's a little bit more understood, more clear to see. Section top margin and bottom margin, that's the space you have above and below the section itself. So if you have more sections, you probably will on the page, you can add more breathing room. So you can move the section top and you see there's more room above and bottom will be the same. Padding is the space within the border. So if you want more space here, you can adjust the padding like that. And then same thing on the bottom, if you'd like. Like so. We also have a group here of the same margin and padding settings for the mobile version, if you'd like. Moving on down, section title styling. So that's this section title. You can change the color of the of the button if you like. You can change its font by check uh, marking this checkbox and then selecting a font you want. Um, not using this will take the font that you have uh, that you're using on the theme. <clears throat> you have here settings to adjust the title, font size, letter spacing, and line height. Uh, if you want a different size, of course, zero um, just uses the default that's taken from the theme. But if you want something different, you could just adjust it like that. And then it enlarges the, the font as you'd like. Same goes for the mobile versions. Now we have column st title styling, which is which are these titles. So we have these three uh, columns. So you could do the, sa the same thing as with the title. You can change the color. You can change the font size, the font type, letter spacing, line height, and same goes for the mobile version. Subtitle is the text that we removed earlier. And it's the, the same settings that you can apply there. And now we go to the row styling, which is each row, f feature row or benefit row or whatever you're, you're comparing. Um, so here too, we can change the title itself, the row title. So these are the same settings for font size, letter spacing, line height, font type, and font color. We can change the background of, of these boxes. So you'd like, let's say we'd want to have them the same color, but a little bit darker. We can do that, or we can just do it a, a different color altogether. Um, Let's just keep this as white for now, keep it clear, and you can change the, the color of the font as well within that. And of course, all of the topography settings there. So we get, once we have all the settings um, for the styling set up, of course, you can go back and change it. We go back to the left side here, and here you can uh, update the content itself. So we have the row title. So here you can write the feature name or something like that. So we'll just call it feature one for now. We have an area here to add in the values for each column, as you can see here. Um, column one value is column one value here. Column two is column two and so on. Column three and up to four. One additional thing you can do is you can add in an icon. Let's say you don't want to show a text, you just want to say it's included or not included. 
you can select an icon, for instance, and you put it in there. And then you have you you mark the checkbox to show to show the icon. So in this case, you can show both. Let's say this plan includes, but we're selling meals, so this plan includes five meals. So you can put five, and then on the, on this item, here we would put five meals, and this plan would include eight meals, and so on, like that. But if you're showing something else and you just want to show uh, that it's included, you can, of course, remove the text and then the icon will appear. If you want to show that it's not included, of course, you can uncheck and you can just put in, you can, you can create your own icon to put in there, or you can just put a dash or an X or whatever you feel like uh, marking, leaving it blank. Of course, that's also possible. Um, and then that's it. The same thing goes for the rest of the of the columns. You can add up to sixteen. Um, oh, sorry, for the rows, and you can add up to sixteen rows. That's it. You could see the mobile view again once you've got everything in there, and you can scroll around and you see how it, things adjust and change. And that's it. If you have any uh, trouble, don't hesitate to reach out to us on our support page on our website, and. Thank you again, and we hope that the section helps you achieve your website goals.